Sunshine, waves, coconut, and the beaches. The small Caribbean island, which is decorated by all colors of flowers, is the hometown to the people of Barbados. Helen Henry, Barbadian ambassador to China, has a very deep connection with China. During his study time in Tsinghua University, he tried to understand China's real connections with ordinary Chinese people. Being the only foreigner in my major, I started to speak like a Chinese with the Beijing Arhua. One of the funnier things that I remember about my time at Tsinghua was when I used to order food from my dorm. So, you know, naturally, I would order in Chinese. So many times I would place my order in Chinese, but it's, you know, like, And I go down to the basement of the dorm to collect my food, and the food delivery guy is there, and he sees me, and, you know, he just doesn't think it's me. And many times the delivery guy would then call the number, and my phone would ring, and we both answer. It's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yes, like, yeah, too sure. Um, when it comes to the tips for learning, what I would say is speaking. Speaking is the best avenue to learning Chinese. When I say speaking, I'm not only referring to speaking to your tutor and your classmates, because China is a very diverse country. Each region has their own pronunciation and accent. By exposing yourself to these accents, you tend to get a much more rounded understanding of the language and it becomes easier to understand a wider section of the public. So speaking, speaking to your AI, speaking to your taxi driver, speaking to your, you know, anyone. And take advantage also of the friendliness of Chinese people to just expand your vocabulary and build that confidence. I think that's the best way to learn Chinese. In China, Ambassador Henry not only encountered masters at school, but also learned a lot from his Chinese friends in everyday life. He sincerely hopes to further the mutual understanding between Barbados and China through education. We've seen a steady increase of students over the years. Um, if you go back to 2010, when I first arrived, we were only two students from Barbados that year. Um, every year we've seen a steady increase, uh, which peaked around 10 to 12 students a year. From the primary level and also the what we call the secondary level, pretty much the elementary and the high school level here in China. We seek to create linkages with these schools here in, in China. We would like to expose them to Barbados and its culture and its people, you see. So making visits to these schools here in China, also inviting kids to the embassy, let them see the beautiful products that we have and learn a bit about the landscape, the beautiful environs of Barbados, and make them want to go, go back, tell their parents, you know, we want to go. Um, a bit further higher up to the university level, we seek co linkages and collaboration with universities such as my alma mater Tsinghua, but obviously not limited to. And our premier university in the Caribbean, University of the West Indies, it's arguably the best university. And we believe that it, the Caribbean could be an ideal location for Chinese students. Apart from the field of education, Ambassador Henry sees great potential of promoting Barbados-China relations in many other fields. Barbados and China enjoy an outstanding relationship and this year we'll be celebrating our 45th year of diplomatic relations. This relationship has been based on people-to-people -people collaboration, business cooperation, technical cooperation and also collaboration in education. And we seek to expand these, this, this collaboration under the umbrella of the BRI. Barbados became signatory to the BRA in 2019 and we have embarked on a number of projects with China under the tenets of policy coordination, facilities coordination and people-to-people -people exchange. Some of these projects due to the COVID-19 pandemic have were temporarily stalled but this year we have seen a resumption in the projects and we look forward to the completion of these projects and also seeking avenues for further commencement of new projects. So yes, over my time here in China, I've had the chance to visit places like Guangxi and Yunnan, and I've seen quite impressive landscapes in the rural areas of China. What would impress me the most about China's agriculture is the innovation and the innovative technology that has 
transform the way how both produce and fisheries are conducted that can be seen throughout China you know and that's really impressive and we hope in terms of the collaboration between Barbados and China that we can also seek to learn some of these techniques and also share some of the techniques which have worked for us in the past with China and continue to work together. Food security has been identified as an important factor by the government of Barbados for our people. This, the importance of this security has been exemplified and brought to the forefront throughout the COVID-19 pandemic as we've seen the global supply chains being negatively impacted. That has, neg that has complicated a lot of our imports and we seek to explore further realms of collaboration with China where we can become more self-sufficient when it comes to basically feeding ourselves.